Well, a lot of um, blue chip uh, activity. We did see foreign investors uh, trade quite heavily, especially with a big deal in KPLC, which I think was probably why uh, what pulled the NSC20 index uh, down slightly today. Um, we did see a lot of activity on the local front, on, at the, on the equity counter, and um, we are still seeing investors uh, still looking at more of the financial and the services sector, mm -hmm. but we expect that uh, attention is going to shift towards the, the, the industrials as we go forward. Obviously, this week, the market was dominated by news of the TPS East Africa uh, rights issue ob oversubscribed by 35%. That's the services industry. In terms of the financial standard chartered, continues to be a good performer, gaining 1.47%. What's a renewed this kind of interest into these stocks uh, within the services and the financial sector? Well, um, we, are, we are currently seeing the market now, the, the investors or more of the companies that are listed on the market coming back to the equities side to issuing, uh, to issuing capital. And the, the rights issues, as we saw, we had Kenya Commercial Bank, we had, which was uh, about 80% subscribed. We had TPS, and now we are expecting, or we are currently waiting for the standard chartered mm -hmm. one to complete. And KPLC is coming forward. So I think now we are seeing a marked move towards the equities market and equities issues as we go forward. And we do expect that as we go towards the end of the year, mm -hmm. that there will be more corporate, f corporate deals right. on the equities market coming up. Let's continue on this tack, Samuel. Just a few months ago, Co-op Bank had an undersubscription as they had their rights issue. We get this positive data coming out from TPS. Uh, Standard Chartered expects to raise about 2.5 billion shillings off its rights issue. And people are saying if it pulls it off, it suggests that investor confidence has resumed or has been renewed and returned to the market as you're suggesting what's the current sentiment around these companies trying to raise money because as you say a lot of them are coming onto the market to raise funds for their growth and expansion programs uh, well I, I think um, what we are, this is actually as a result of the various policies that have been put in place, we've seen uh, investor confidence has really changed, but also the economy is on the up. And so I think um, on the whole, we are, we are thinking that um, as, as we go forward, all, most of the issues will be oversubscribed. Investors are now, we are seeing a more sophisticated sophisticated investor and we're seeing investors now looking to take a little more risk mm -hmm. and so I think more companies are going to look at equity and I believe that um, okay for Standard Chartered in my view uh, I think it, their, their mother company which owns over 70 percent is definitely going to be one of the, one of the biggest takers mm -hmm. but um, I think um, most companies that are looking to raise capital are going to come into the market right. before for the first half of next year. And just in terms of the weighting, in terms of the investors who are coming back into the market, um, you know, in, experts have lamented the fact that foreigners have withdrawn somewhat and that's affected the, the volumes and the prices of stock and the rest of it, uh, urging locals to come back to the market. Now with this upbeat sentiment, are we going to see um, a fair distribution between locals and, and foreigners coming to the market? Actually, we've seen a surge in foreign uh, investor um, activity in the last one, uh, one week and a half. And I think that is a signal uh, for the market because what happened is that the foreigners did take a back step during the referendum period. And I think now they feel that there is less political risk uh, having seen that the country went through the referendum in a peaceful manner. We've had various by-elections which went through very peacefully. And I think that that is a signal for foreign investors that the market is ready for them and that their funds are safe here. For, as for local investors, we have seen them run the market for about uh, five or six months now. And I think that the, the activity is actually going to accelerate as we go towards the end of the year. Okay, looking at other market movers today, Bamburi Cement, what's made that stock attractive? Well, I think right now there's a bit of a shift towards, because most, most of the attention in the recent past has been on financials and the services sector, because those are usually the first 
to uh, to announce, and they are also usually the first to react to a change in economic, uh, in the underlying economic um, position in the country. But now with the with with the confirmation that we expect accelerated GDP growth and accelerated economic growth. I think now people are going to start seeing some growth in the industrials, which usually are the last to start showing or reflecting such right. growth. And I believe that uh, for the re second half of the year, then we're going to see attention shift to those. Okay, let's talk about the losers today, but they did generate a lot of interest. Nonetheless, Jubilee Holdings down 2.6%, and also Carbasset. They had a few issues around pricing, and consequently their stock was suspended end of last week. What are some of the challenges they're facing? Well, uh, I, d I don't think there are uh, any serious challenges on that front. Uh, I, I just think it's just a matter of uh, supply and demand. There's no particular reasons that I can put my finger on, on uh, regarding those. Um, the one that uh, I feel that maybe I could point out is KPLC, mm -hmm. which I think closed slightly lower today. Yep. And I, f I think that maybe there's a bit of speculation regarding the upcoming uh, rights issue and split and mm -hmm. so th and therefore I think that is what is probably moving that stock. And Samuel very briefly the MPC of the central bank has met rates unchanged uh, but what we've seen is a slight weakening of the currency in relation to the dollar. Experts say no panic as long as the CBK stays out of the market. What are your expectations uh, for the shilling and what's your view on the MPC decision? Well, on the shillings front, we are seeing very strong exports, especially in tea and coffee. And I think uh, that uh, with tourism also doing very well at the moment, then the shilling will definitely go towards the 80 shillings mark as we go into the next, the, the, the next part of this quarter. Um, uh, as pertains to um, the, 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 the market, I think um, what, what we're looking at now and what we need now is actually to watch uh, how foreign the foreigners are going to move the market because the local investor is already in there and i think going forward we're going to be looking at a bullish um, atmosphere all right